Let me show you how I made this cool looking dragon egg. Hey, 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 check this out. This is a super fast 3D printer called AnchorMake M5 by Anchor. This printer can print up to 500 mm per second and if you're in a world of 3D printers, you know this is crazy fast. I will speed up the assembly process but literally it took about 15 minutes and I was up and running printing my first ever 3D printed item. The first step was to attach the base, then afterwards it was very straightforward where each and every cable needs to be plugged in. After some finishing touches I was ready to power up the machine and start printing. For easy access and control Anchor Maker has its own app which has already some preloaded plans ready to print. But for my project video I will be using this awesome looking dragon with a hashtag. To get up and running on my laptop all I needed to do is to head over to their website anchormaker.com and to download Anchor Maker Slicer which is available to any iOS device or Windows. Once I had the software on my laptop it was easy to transfer all the files over to the printer and get the printer busy with printing. First heating up the bed and the nozzle and then the machine was ready to move. After a quick calibration the machine was ready to start printing the first few layers and start building up our little dragon. This super intelligent machine does come with a built-in camera what doesn't just create an awesome looking time lapse at the end of each print, but when using AnchorMake Slicer software to slice the model, it will generate images of simulated perspectives at different heights. And just to give you a little bit better perspective, the built in camera located right next to the touch screen, constantly taking pictures and cross checking with the simulated perspectives as per the Slicer program. And if AI detects a problem, like spaghettification, then it will simply stop the print, saving you time, money, effort and disappointment. And check this out, our little dragon is ready to be casted in resin. But before we can do that, let's prepare the wood. I will be using again some amazing looking Australian Malay bow. Using some hot melt glue to secure the wood onto a waste block so then I can turn this on my lathe. While the glue is drying, check out what other projects I was able to print. A little dinosaur puzzle for my little boy, along with an awesome looking police car. And this little bunny is absolutely mind boggling. Printed directly from AnchorMake Smart App. And check this out, it has moving parts. Crazy. And all I need to do now is just to carve a little bit of an embedding into our bowl so the hatched egg will sit nicely into the wood. And don't worry, I will do more wood turning in this video, but for now, all I needed is a little embedding into this burl. And then now I'm ready to move on to the next step. We'll be using my trusted 30 minutes epoxy resin to give a little bit of an extra color to this awesome looking project. and a quick sprinkle of some chameleon mica powder.
And if you wonder why on earth I'm holding my wood turning chisel in such a way, then the simple answer, I'm recovering from a hand injury and unfortunately my thumb isn't as functional as it was before, so I'm still giving a little rest until it fully recovers. Using this Anchormatic 3D printer over the past few days gave me so much inspiration for my upcoming projects and I genuinely see how I can utilize this in my day to day work. So let me know down below in the comments what would you like me to make in the future and I will try to come up with a good plan to accommodate your ideas. Sending from 320 grits all the way till 3000. I normally switch over to wet sending about 800 grits, then taking to 1000, 2000, and then eventually 3000 grit to get a nice smooth surface. But that's simply not enough to make our resin to look like glass. In order to achieve the effect, we will need to go over and do some more polishing. And if you thought, Sanding is very time consuming, polishing I can guarantee is even worse. So while I do this, let me show you some more creations I was able to do with my 3D printer. Check out this awesome looking Gorilla phone holder. To polish up this piece to a glass a finish and to remove every single little scratches probably took me about one, one and a half hours. And if you enjoyed this week's project video and you fancy trying out 3D printing, I will leave the website link down below in the description where you can gain more details from anything from shipping to pricing and hopefully you will get going with printing very soon. Thanks for watching and see you back very soon. Oh, and by the way, this project is available on my website with worldwide shipping.